European Union common agricultural policy. I think uh, it's a, the point well taken. Thank you very much for that. Um, I would like to now move on to our third speaker, and this is Ms. Karita Kinunen Rauda Skoski. She is the co founder of Paptic Limited in Finland. Um, this company develops and markets wood based substitutes for conventional plastic materials. I'm very curious about your presentation because uh, your company has received also very generous funding from the so-called uh, SME instrument under Horizon 2020. Um, and in order to do that, I'm sure that you have impressed many an evaluator all across the EU because I know how tough it is to get funding for the second phase in that instrument. So. I would very much welcome you uh, to take the floor and please continue to inspire us. Thank you. So, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm really happy to be here to have this opportunity, and it's an honor to tell you more about the company Paptic. So we are talking about green jobs, and that is what Paptix is already doing. Green jobs, which are based on these three corners of European bioeconomy, innovation, raw materials, and production. The world is changing, and needs and technologies according to it. <coughs> Sorry. In bioeconomy, we need to take care of that we utilize European production infrastructure and create new base on it. We have local sustainable raw material sources in Europe and they already create new jobs as such. Innovation. We need innovation because anything new does not happen without them. We have a really great innovation culture in Europe and European community framework programs which enables to get innovations to the market. What is then needed? Driving forces to pull these innovations to the market and support to do it. Uh, what are the driving forces behind Baptic? Do you, can you imagine a world without plastic? Probably no. The plastic is a very great material, but we have problems to handle it. According to the Ellen MacArthur Foundation, in 2050, there is more plastic than fish in oceans. The directives agreed by European Parliament demand the use of plastic bags to be reduced to less than 90 bags per capita, which means decrease of 55% in 2019. On the other hand, sustainable brands and retailers have already taken actions before the legislation demands, like Adidas and Lego. The market should offer sustainable alternatives to these companies and that is what Baptic is doing. If we develop solutions which will need investments through the whole value chain, it will take decades instead of years to bring the solutions to the market. So our focus is on existing chains and it would be great if we can return production back to Europe. Sustainably managed forest is a great source of bio raw material. According to the Central Union of Agricultural Producers and Forest Owners of Finland, Finnish forest is growing more than it is used. The forest grows a lot. The annual growth is more than one 100 million cubic meters, and the need of raw wood to industry is 59 million cubic meters. 
This is the main raw material source for Baptic. Our innovation, Baptic material, is a next generation of paper. It combines the properties of paper and plastic, as the name already uh, indicates, bath from the paper and thick from the plastic. It is made from food fibers, European raw material. It's renewable, recyclable, and reusable material. And it enables to those sustainable brands, uh, brands and retailers to shift from fossil-based plastic to the bio-based material. Uh, I'm a paper maker in my soul. My uh, background is from paper making and research. And that's why it's very delight that I can say that public material is produced using uh, existing paper machines. Paper machines which uh, have been modified to foam forming. The technology which utilizes foam instead of water. So it's a very efficient. For example, it has been estimated that uh, the energy consumption can be uh, more than 30% less. The public material can be produced, converted, and printed to bags and pouches by utilizing existing machines and paper bag and plastic bag converting lines. Uh, Baptic background uh, basically is already started in 2004. We had a very challenging material, as you can see in the left uh, corner, down. It looks like a nanocellulose, but this time no one was talking about nanocellulose. We have a material, but we didn't have any technology to uh, apply that. So we found foam technology. And during the years, we developed the technology for several applications. The role of funding and available research facilities has been crucial because only having this lab scale results and samples, it's impossible to show that this is really a good innovation and it's a potential also for mill scale. In the research stage, we got a founding from EU, from TECES, which is a Finnish founding agency for technology and innovation, and from industry. Uh, 2015 was the starting point of Baptic LTD. We got a seed uh, funding of 1.1 million euros, and one year later, we already launched our first demo product to the market. Our goal is to scale up the production to the industrial scale in 2018. For the scale up planning, we have, as already mentioned, we have uh, been granted support from the uh, EU Horizon 2020 SMA instrument, uh, approximately 2.2 million euros. And uh, this autumn, the 10 million euro A serial investment round will be collected by autumn 2017 and it will be play a key role in the implementation of the future scaling investments. Oh. <laughs> All the pictures are not showing there. Um, so uh, 2015, we, uh, three founders started the company and at the moment we are a team of 10 persons our upscaling model is based on the utilization of the existing paper production environments and currently we are in discussions concerning investment locations and possible cooperation models with selected paper companies. Baptic uh, production scale-up, of course, enables also green jobs on the raw material supplier site and product converter site in Europe. Uh, I will end up my presentation by showing a show, uh, show with, uh, short movie showing that how 
is possible through the innovation to create a new spirit, a new life to the old paper machine. Thank you very much, Carita. Um, I'm not sure if Paptic has found itself already in the English dictionary, but it might in the future, being such a very convenient combination of paper and, uh, and plastic. Um, and also, this inspiration comes at the very right time when uh, the EU will be having a plastic strategy this year. Um, we're, we're working on it this year as well. But thank you so much for that inspiration and also the reinvention of what is supposed to be old um, into taking it into the future. And I think this is what this discussion is all about.